Here is another video of research methodology on the topic presentation of research report or paper. Presentation skill is a very important tool in research world. If you don't know how to present your research work effectively, then your innovative research work will look like useless work. There are many tips and ways to present effectively. If you follow all those points which I am going to discuss in this video, you will become an excellent presenter. So let's start. Number one point in presentation is to know your audience and yourself. Know the needs of your audience and match your content to their needs. Know your material thoroughly. Put what you have to say in logical sequence. Ensure your speech will be captivating to your audience as well as worth their time and attention. Practice and rehearse your speech at home or where you can be at ease and comfortable in front of a mirror, your family, friends or colleagues. Use a tape recorder and listen to yourself. Videotape your presentation and analyze it. Know what your strong points and weak points are. Emphasize your strong points during presentation. Number two in presentation making is the use of PowerPoint. This is a computer software which is used especially for, the, for making any presentation. Learn and become master of PowerPoint software before making any presentation. Do not over your audience with excessive use of animation, sound clips or bad colors which are inappropriate for your topic. Do not torture your audience by putting a lengthy document and it, it is in the tiny print and you are reading it out. So don't read, discuss every point one by one. Number three in presentation making is the use of audiovisual aids. When using audiovisual aids to enhance your presentation, be sure all necessary equipment is set up and in good working order prior to the presentation. If possible, have an emergency backup system readily available. Check out the location ahead of time to ensure seating arrangements for audience. Whiteboard, blackboard, lighting, location of uh, projection screen, sound system, etc. are suitable for your presentation. Number four point in presentation making is perform like an actor. When you are presenting in front of an audience, you are performing as an actor is on the stage. How you are being perceived is very important. Dress appropriately for the occasion. Be dignified if your topic is serious. Present the desired image to your audience. Look pleasant, enthusiastic, confident, proud, but not arrogant. Remain calm. Appear relaxed, even if you feel nervous. Slowly speak. Pronunciate clearly and show appropriate emotion and feeling relating, relating to your topic. Establish relationship with your audience. Speak to the person farthest away from you to ensure your voice is loud enough to project to the back of the room. Vary the tone of your voice and dramatize if necessary. If a microphone is available, adjust and adopt your voice accordingly. Number five point in the presentation making is body language. Body language is very important. Standing, walking or moving about with appropriate hand gesture or facial expression is preferred to sitting down or standing still with head down and reading from a prepared speech. Number six point in presentation making is to make notes. It is a good practice to make your handouts before presentation. Keep it with you. Do not read from notes for any extended length of time, although it is quite acceptable to glance at your notes infrequently. Speak loudly and clearly. Sound confident. Do not mumble. If you made an error, correct it and continue. 
no need to make excuses or apologies number 7 point in the presentation making is speak with conviction speak with conviction is if you really believe in what you are saying persuade your audience effectively the material you present orally should have the same ingredients as that which are required for a written research paper number 8 point in presentation making is eye contact maintain sincere eye contact with your audience use the 3 second method for example look straight into the eyes of a person in the audience for 3 seconds at a time have direct eye contact with a number of people in the audience and every now and then glance at the whole audience while speaking use your eye contact to make everyone in your audience feel involved number 9 is communication speak to your audience listen to their questions respond to their reactions adjust and adopt if your audience do not understand then change your strategy mid stream if you are well prepared to do so remember that communication is the key to a successful presentation if you are short of time know what can be safely omitted if you have extra time know what could be effectively added always be prepared for the unexpected situations allow yourself and your audience a little time to reflect and think don't race through your presentation and leave your audience as well as yourself feeling out of breath now number 10 is humor add humor whenever appropriate and possible keep audience interested throughout the entire presentation remember that an interesting speech makes time fly but a boring speech is always too long to endure even if the presentation time is the same number 11 is the outline of presentation have outlines ready and give them out to at the start of presentation so that they will not waste time taking unnecessary notes during your presentation it will help audience to follow your presentation properly without missing any point number 12 point is when to stop no when to stop talking use a timer to time your presentation when preparing it at home just as you don't use unnecessary words in your written paper you don't bore your audience with repetition of unnecessary words in your presentation to end your presentation summarize your main points in the same way as you normally do in the conclusion remember however that there is a difference between spoken words appropriate for the ear and formally written words in, intended for reading terminate your presentation with an interesting remark or an appropriate punchline leave your listeners with a positive impression and a sense of completion thank your audience and sit down number 13 is personality your personality should be composed at the time of presentation proper dressing according to the theme of your research and your hair style are the key components which audience want to see in your personality If you do, do not look good you may lose your confidence your posture is also noted by audience way of talking moving facial expressions and hand gestures are the helping tools for your personality during presentation thanks for watching like comment share and subscribe